Hello friends, my name is Yuri Kovalenik and I like to take notes. I recently saw the successful launch and importantly the successful landing of the Starship SN15. It was wonderful that the spaceship didn't explode and congratulations to SpaceX and Elon Musk. However, during the descent landing of the spacecraft I noticed a small fire of the ship. In this regard I would like to talk about weightlessness and overload. More precisely I would like to analyze the problem of overload and weightlessness. So imagine that we need to find the weight of a body which the equidistant movement of a ship up. So our SN15 is moving up with some acceleration. The spacecraft is moving with an acceleration of 8, therefore any object in the spacecraft will be affected mainly by two forces, the force of gravity mg and the reaction force of the support n. We have to write down Newton's second law, I hope you know it. We will get this vector equation which is solved by the protection method. I hope you understand what it means to project a vector onto the selected axis. We get a simple equation and get the reaction force of the support to the value. Thus the reaction force of the support is greater than the weight of the body which is at rest. This phenomenon is called overloading. Another thing is if the spacecraft is moving down with an acceleration that is smaller in magnitude than the acceleration of free fall. Reasoning in a similar way we get a different result. In this case the weight of the reaction force of the support is less than the weight of the stationary body. I mean the body is connected to a frame of reference such as the Earth. If a body falls with the acceleration of free fall, then it is in zero gravity. Quite another thing happens at the moment of landing of the spacecraft. Uh, the fact uh, is that in close proximity to the Earth, the weight of the starship increases, despite the fact that it is moving down. Uh, accordingly, the engines should work with a higher power, as for example when starting a starship. Moreover, the exhaust gases uh, are returned back to the starship and heat it up, which leads to a fire. This we have seen repeatedly with the ships of the same series. In my opinion, as for landing on Mars in condition of low gravity and low oxygen content, the probability of a starship catching fire on Mars is much lower than on Earth. Problems may arise when astronauts return to Earth. In this regard, I suggest the SpaceX use a water tank. A water tank up to a meter deep could significantly reduce the temperature of the gases reflected from the surface and extinguish the fire. Thank you for your attention. I hope SpaceX will take this into account, but I say goodbye to you and uh, I leave a link to the store of my notes in the description of this video. All by sincerely, Yuri Kovalen.